All right, let's see if we can get this thing started. Literally been like, I don't even know, half a year. And it's been giving me nothing but troubles, which is why I haven't had a motor vlog out in just about the same amount of time. Wish me luck, I've already spent like a hundred dollars on this thing so far and I shouldn't have to do that. I've been trying to get this dang thing started for like two weeks now. Got a fresh battery, got a fresh starter solenoid. Come on, dirt bike. Little spider on my finger. There we go. Alright, we're gonna try and bump start it. It's gonna be a really weak bump start, so don't judge. I honestly just want to sell this thing. It's been such a pain in my I mean, why does it not even want to start anymore? I don't know. Hey, this fucking thing. I don't want to do it anymore. I just want to sell it. 200 bucks. Who wants it? What is going on, everybody? So today, I'm gonna try and get you a moto vlog, but fingers crossed we'll see. I have to clean this carburetor. Uh, I have a couple of more ideas on how to clean it. I cleaned the jets last time, that didn't really seem to help. I'll try and record a little bit of it, but hopefully we can get you a moto vlog today. Look at these engines I have. I kinda forgot that I have these. I think they're old Opal engines, I'm not even sure, honestly. Pretty cool though. All right, I got a crunch over here, but right now I'm gonna try and do the uh, do a quick disassembly for you. I'll probably speed it up. Nothing too entertaining, but just the process going that goes behind cleaning the car. I also usually try to tighten the bolts back where I got them, just to just to minimize the amount of bolts that are lying around. Got to get the air filter box. Real quick, the biggest thing with this dirt bike that I learned um, with these TTRs is this this bolt right here, and there's a bolt down here. Let me show you. There's a bolt right here. Maybe if you'll see that. So this whole like section of this like I think they call it like a subframe piece. It all like this whole piece will come out, which I'll show you in a second. But this then this air box comes out real easy, so you can get to everything in here. So. It's super nice, gives you a lot of room too. So everything that you, everything on this bike is a 10 except for these two, which are 12s. Which makes sense because they're kind of beefier parts. Don't need to put them back super tight, just enough so that they won't fall out. And then I believe the gas tank is also a 10. So if anybody's out there watching this in order to take off this carburetor, there's two gas tank bolts up kind of near the forks. You'll see them, they're real easy, they're two 10 millimeters. Super easy to take out, and then you just kind of, you'll want to get a rag of some sort, because some gas will come out of this fuel line when you take it off. But once you unhook the fuel line, that's all that's really holding it in, at least for my bike. I don't know what the people did before I owned it. It's always my excuse. Now you can see the uh, dirt bike looks pretty naked and my timestamp's at eight minutes right now. So it's pretty fairly quick to get all this assembled. Like I said, all this comes out. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's just like the computer for everything. But this pops out. So you can get this out of your way too. It, it's all kind of just a big old puzzle. So I gotta take this hose clamp off to get this carburetor off. I think that's all that's holding in. I took it off recently, so that's how I know. I think there's also a plug line in here that you have to take off. But that comes off pretty easy. There we go. What's left for me is just getting this air box out. It's just the, uh, the boots that are kind of hard to get to, so once I get that off, I'll pick back up with you guys. There's these cables here, the two throttle cables. There's like the supply and return, almost. Uh, so I gotta take those two out. I got this boot out, there's a clamp right here. Um, well, I got the hose clamp loose. But once I get these two off, it should just slide right out because another thing I forgot to mention is there's these two tubes. So the tubes look like this. They're like little T's. 
see. See how it makes like a T? So there's two of them going off the back side of the carburetor, like down right here. Sorry, it's kind of hard to film and watch and look at this. So it comes off right here. Those just pop off. They're just kind of like uh, pressure release tubes, I think. So nothing too important. I believe that's a 10 millimeter wrench. I also grabbed a pair of channel locks because sometimes they like to move. I think you just want to move the top one. There's two, there's a set of, there's one right here and one on the bottom. I think you just want to move the top one because the bottom one is what sets your throttle. I don't know if you can see that, you should be able to put it up against the white. See how like the top of that wire has a little cylinder on it? That's what kind of pulls the, this uh, flapper back and forth to give it gas. There we go. And there's the carb. It's kind of a process to get it out. Obviously there's going to be gas in the carb. I kind of forgot about that. I probably won't put you, show you guys putting this all back together because it's basically the same thing, just reverse. To begin, I already got these bolts off. So what I'm doing today is there's a there's a choke. I don't know what they what to call it really, but there's like a channel for the choke up in this hole right here, and apparently these get all full of just like grime and get gunked up, and that's what kind of makes the dirt bike not start and it doesn't let it warm up real easy. So what I did was I bought one of these. Uh, I think they call it a pine vise. I think that's what they call it. But it's like this little, pretty much like a hand drill. And I bought these drill bits, and there's six of them for $10, so they're pretty pricey. But they're micro, they're like micro bits. They're so small. But that's what's going to fit in there. I don't even know if the camera will even be pick that up but you can see how small they are so I'm hoping this reaches down in there I watched a video myself and the guy said this is what he used so I'm hoping it works for mine part of the crickets too I don't know if it's actually going in or not it's all very uh, tedious I don't know if I better get the right angle but there's a little hole down in here where you'll see the choke switch is connected to. So I'm gonna try and clean that out too. So as you can see, I sprayed the absolute dog shit out of that carburetor simply because I didn't have to take it all apart again. So I got her all buttoned up. We're gonna give her a test ride. Should be good to go, but you know how things work. You never really know. August over here is, he's slumped. He's knocked. Working on the dirt bike's too hard for him. What you doing, guy? Hmm? You dreaming? So cute. Such a good garage cat. There's one more thing I have to do, which is get this hooked back up. I took that off a while ago and kind of forgot about it. So I gotta get that on, and then I'll be on the GoPro trying to start it. And it probably won't start, so we'll see. Hmm, my helmet was in my closet where I keep my dryer sheets. So it smells like my dryer sheets in here. It's better than what it usually smells like. Oh, I got those on, by the way. Nice and tight. I'm gonna turn the fuel on now. Just get some fuel going in the carburetor since I emptied it. Oh, hello, sexies. It's kind of weird because I have to like be throttling it the whole time. Like I can run it around and it'll be totally warmed up, but it'll still just die as soon as I let off the gas, so. We'll see how this goes. All right, here goes nothing. See, like, it'll start. I'm, I'm not trying to jinx myself, but it'll start like that. You think, like, oh, it has a chance, but then, then it just keeps dying. Get out of here, Swippy. Maybe my throttle returns off. Yep. It's gotta be. Because it's 
So what I'm thinking is it's, it's freaking sweat bees. Ugh. So I'm thinking when I go to give it or let go, it's the throttle return isn't holding it open enough to give it enough gas. Freaking sweat bee. I hope I caught that. It's really hot. See if maybe we can fix this. Don't have to kill it. Just does it itself. Back to the drawing board. All right, guys. I know that wasn't much of a motor vlog, as you can probably tell. I'm kind of sweaty. Uh, I've been working on this thing almost no, like literally all day. Uh, I can't. I can't seem to figure it out. I'm kind of giving up on it, at least for today. I adjusted the throttle cables. I adjusted the. Uh, there's a idle screw underneath that float bowl. Oh, I cleaned it out as you saw. It's just been draining. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. Sorry that wasn't much of a motor vlog. There probably won't be any motor vlogs here soon because I can't get it to run right. It's kind of a pain. But I did my motor vlog today. What I was gonna do was uh, I was gonna tell you that. Ooh, snagged on the dirt bike. Doesn't want me to go. I was going to tell you that the uh Oh my goodness, it runs like a dream now. Oh, I didn't even put the phone mount on all the way. I should probably do that. So, I'm getting too excited. So, I owe it all to my friend Connor. So, uh it's, it's kind of embarrassing, but he helped me out. He hooked the brother up. All it was was the idle screw. Let me tell you, Connor, you know a lot about carburetors that I don't. I thought it was something really complicated, but it was really just the idle screw. The, the screw I thought was the idle screw was the fuel air screw. I gotta put this in neutral. All right, anyway, Connor, you're the freaking man. So, this thing is running better than it has in a while. So uh, shout out to Crob, C-R-O-B, I'll put it on the screen. Thank you so much, dude. Let me go ahead and say it, and I already told you when I called you, but seriously, so awesome that you were able to help me. So I got a new, another new solenoid. I've, I've gone to like four of them, I don't know what the deal is. The electrical is all good now. It's still kind of finicky sometimes, like there's a video a while back where I literally just have to shake my dirt bike every now and then. Oh, it's not dying, it's so nice. And then I got it all back together and it would it just wouldn't stay running. Like I could ride it, throttle, it'd be, it'd be pretty good, it'd be running good, I just, it wouldn't stay running. And I was like, oh, it's probably just the idle screw or the throttle cable or something like that. And I adjusted it and it still wasn't working. So I'm like, what the heck? So I called Connor and, oh, this is also after today, after the second carb clean. So I called Connor and I was like, dude, I cannot figure this out. He's like, are you sure you adjusted your your idle screw? I was like, yeah. And I pointed to him, to the idle screw, and he's like, bro, that's not your idle school screw. That's like your fuel air ratio. I was like, oh my gosh. So he pointed out the idle screw, which is like right in front of me the whole time. And I'll probably try and take like a screenshot and show you guys where it was. Literally the easiest fix. So I, I tuned it up a little bit. Like I said, there's still some tuning I have to do. Look at them legs. It seems to be running good now. I'm kind of happy. I'll be able to take it to Indiana now at the farmhouse and be able to rip skadiddly there. I told Connor to have to invite him over there just because he helps me out all the time and we're good buddies. And I know he'd like Philip, so I don't know if Philip would like him. So it's it'd be a good time. I'm, I'm excited. The main point of this vlog today was I was going to say that the engine build is kind of on hold until I get over to the new, the new place that my neighbor, that, that my neighbor's giving me because he's awesome. Uh, we're we're going to be renting it, but we're just going to be do, like, doing uh, some mowing and stuff for him. That way all the engine parts are kind of organized and clean. There's no one going in and out to the, like my garage where they'll get disturbed and rearranged the way I don't want them to. So. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I'm glad that this, I'm glad I can have some uh, motor vlogs now. 
because I fixed it. So sorry for the clickbaity title. I'm sure there's still going to be like 30 views, which I appreciate all 30 of you. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all your support. Seriously, there's I'm getting subs. Ever since I started trying posting weekly, I'm getting one or two subs a week, which is awesome. So welcome to the channel if you're new. Stick around. I know it's uh, sometimes it gets a little crazy, but there's always fun stuff to come. So like this, this C10 build is going to start kicking up real soon and once I get moved in, like I said. So stick around. It's going to get wild. Thanks for watching. Me and August appreciate it. Uh, follow me on Instagram at is this Mike on underscore official, and don't forget to subscribe and comment down below. Bye. All right, Connor. I'm gonna try and do a lousy little wheelie for you. It's not gonna be a wheelie. It's just gonna be like one of those where I get the tire in the air. Yeah, it's a little one. <laughs> there you go. There's there's your uh, wheelie, Connor. Thanks for uh, your help. You deserve that one. That was his only request. Oh wow! I'm actually. I'm actually not too bad at them when the dirt bike's tuned up well. <laughs> See you guys.